What's going on everybody? Todd with Coastal Tides. Okay, today the wind was blowing so bad. And with my GoPro, I have an external microphone that I click onto the uh, uh, to the strap. It's like a little lapel mic. I just put it on the GoPro harness. And the wind blew, blew this little guy away somewhere. I couldn't find it. This just helps keep the wind noise down so the audio isn't so crazy. Um, anyway, so this is going to be kind of a voiceover video. Um, like I said, the wind noise was so bad. Um, I, it, you just can't even really hear much in the videos until like the very end. Uh, there's still a little bit of wind noise. I took some of that out. Um, but hopefully you guys enjoy this video. But I went out to the Skyway and um, the action was pretty good uh, considering how hard the wind was blowing and it was really choppy the waves were were, were pretty big um, managed to catch some bait uh, but most of the fish that I was getting the hits on were on shrimp that's why I say I always carry shrimp on on hand when I'm fishing just because everything eats shrimp and uh, it, it's it's a lot of fun to fish with shrimp and it's even more amazing when a really big fish eats a shrimp that big so this is going to be a voiceover video like i said the wind noise was so bad because the wind blew my they call this a dead cat basically it just goes it, it goes on to the microphone and like i said it helps keep wind from blowing up the uh the microphone you know so you, so you don't hear all that howling and whistling and screeching and all that so anyway hope you guys enjoy this video so let's jump in it all right right here i got hooked up to a nice grouper but broke me off had a pretty good size shrimp on there and sometimes that's just the way it goes throw a big shrimp under there and uh you're probably gonna get broke off on this uh, lighter tackle sometimes it's a little bit harder to uh get some of these grouper i'm uh, just kind of playing around with them a little bit and uh here i got hooked up again and uh once again i was using shrimp and uh, it was uh, just about a full moon so the snapper bite was uh, not too bad uh, this one's definitely a keeper probably about 12 inches or so definitely a pretty fish you get a you know your limit of those you'll be eating pretty good um, they taste great they're fun to catch and uh, it's just a great fish and here I'm hooked up to another snapper uh, same thing on a shrimp and uh, look just like the other one about the same size probably about 12 inches um, I definitely could have kept that one too um, I just threw them back I, I really didn't feel like cleaning any fish today unless it was a unless it was a grouper so I went ahead and threw them back and here I felt a little bump and then wham broke me off straight broke me off once again I had a shrimp on that and uh, let's uh, take another look at it in here feel a little bump and then second to come tight boom it just it was already right there broke me off and he hit so hard he almost broke the rod and I got another shrimp out again and uh, I felt just a little tap and I figured it was a snapper so I went ahead just to start reeling, reeling a little bit and then got hooked up let's try to pull him away from the pilings but he was already kind of in between. I had my bait a little too far, a little too far over, so you won that battle. Well, that was the day guys uh, nothing too special didn't land a keeper size grouper and honestly I'm beginning to think I suck at grouper fishing because the last keeper that I landed was uh, before the last season had opened I believe 
yeah, I think it was before the last season had opened. Um, it was on the video. I can't remember which one it was, but uh, you guys can go back and, and find it in the in the, my uh, fishing library. That was the last one that I had actually caught. That was a, a keeper size. He was 25 inches, and I haven't actually actually landed uh, a keeper grouper uh, since then, and it sucks. But sometimes that's just the way it is with me at least um i wish i can get out there more days but you know one day a week if if i can even get out there that particular week but it, it was it was a lot of fun you know when you can get out there and catch some some fish uh, you know it's always a fun day even losing fish i mean it, it's crazy because i was using shrimp most of the day i mean i had my my a couple of my big rods set up uh i think one got hit but he um he didn't get the hook in his mouth, apparently. Um, but the bait had uh, bite marks and stuff on it. And I, I know it was a, wasn't a dolphin, because dolphin, when they grab your bait, they won't let go. They'll take you a mile, you know, before they feel pressure, and then it'll the hook will come out. They, they are not letting go of that bait. They want it, and they want it real bad. Um, but there, there has been a few times where um, the really big grouper, the keeper size groupers, will eat shrimp. And that's why it's so so important. Um, even if you're using a small shrimp like that, do not set your rod down and just walk away. Now, if you're using a conventional reel and you got it in a free spool with the drag clicker, um, he, that, that fish isn't, isn't going to pull that um, rod in the water. Unless your line's all tangled up and bunched up in there and there's just a lot of pressure, then your rod's probably going to go flying in the water. But as long as you got it in a free spool, the drag clicker on, you shouldn't have anything to worry about. And until the next video, y'all stay cool, go fishing. We'll see you next time.